Okay, so the last video I is showing how to manually work in a triple meter. I had misunderstood how to use the triplets view. So I was actually putting the beat out, stretched out. What I should have been doing is putting in a hi-hats right here, and then this would be the beat here. And then I would slow it down to probably, oh, maybe 60. So now we have this, it's just like a slower BPM. Uh, because otherwise, if we were back up at 120, we'd be going pretty quick. Let's live record that in, just like we did in the previous video. There it is. That's recorded in. So now let's uh, let's just see what it's like to sequence on a synth. I'm going to use Circuit uh, MIDI 2. So let's just pick some notes here. So yeah, it works pretty well. Uh, Let's actually record that right in, holding down record and pressing down here. There we go, that's in the live loop. Let's uh, add some more stuff in here. Let's record that in now. So we're just going to play it. There we go. So that's all sampled in. And now we can slow it down with a time stretch effect. Or make it faster. Since we live looped each of those parts in, we could actually save the song and then it would, I could easily load it up. If I don't want to deal with MIDI presets, you know, due to having too many synths, I can actually just save the samples right in here and I can reload it later on.